everyone, welcome back to Junk Chore Magic. From home, like everyone else, we're staying at home to stay safe. Hey Walker. Hey Kira. Want to see an egg cylinder trick? Nope. Ah, Akira? No egg puns. Fine, but this is a magical egg. It can read your inner thoughts. <laughs> My inner thoughts would make that egg explode. We'll see about that. Here, take this deck of cards, and you tell me when to stop. Stop. There? All right. That's your card, and we'll take your card, and we'll just rip it in half like that, and then like that, and then like that, and finally one more rip to where now it's completely all like this, and we'll throw it away. And now, I'll take the egg and, what was that egg? You needed to see the card? Well, just, just read her mind. Just do your thing, you know, do, do your thing. Okay, go. I don't like how that egg is looking at me. It's looking inside you. Now we will look inside it. Ah, look at that, there's a little card in there. Grab that card and we'll open it up to reveal. Boom. That's my card! Yep, wanna see how I did it? Yep. I'm egg excited to show you. Nope. Akira? I warned you. Fine, here, sorry, it's a little sticky, they just, Wash a little bit and dry off. Make sure you're always washing your hands. Especially for a right. trick like this. <laughs> Here is what you'll need for the trick. You'll need a deck of cards, a cup or glass. I used a glass, obviously. And an egg. Here. To start the trick, you'll need your two decks of cards. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take one card from each deck, both identical, and throw the other deck away, and keep one. Then, you take the eight of hearts and its duplicate, and you put the duplicate to the side, take the eight of hearts, and you put it at the bottom of the deck. Then you take your other card, and you just fold it like so. Boom. There, and if you have really big hands, this is gonna be enough, but it's a lot easier if you do one more fold and then it's super small to where you can just palm it in your hand. And now just put that piece off to the side. Now all you have to do is force the card on your spectator. See how we put the card on the bottom of the deck? When you're gonna ask the person to stop the card, you're gonna cut the deck like so, and then put the other half, the top half, on there, and keep a pinky break. Now just riffle through the deck, and wherever your audience member tells you to stop, you just take your thumb and you grab from the back, and you pull up, and it'll look like you're stopping where they stopped, when really, you're just gonna force this card on them. So you already knew which card I was gonna pick before the trick even started. Yep. And technically, you didn't pick it. I forced it. <laughs> Magic! Uh, now, you're gonna take your card, and you're just gonna rip it up in pieces, like so. Because this doesn't matter. You don't need it anymore. Now, when you go for your egg, you're gonna palm the folded card from previously, in your hand like so. Now all you do is crack the egg, open it up, and drop the card in it with it. And it'll look like the card is coming out of the egg, when really it's just coming out of your palm. And that's the trick. That's a fantastic trick. Yeah, I guess you could call me an egg-cellent magician. Well, you really did do your homework on egg puns. Actually, it's not me. I have this one egg comedian in here, his name's Sebastian Mana Scramble. He just won't leave. <laughs> you guys ready for some yokes? I mean jokes. So what's the deal with us eggs? Chickens poop us out, and then people eat us? No, no, just no, nope. <laughs>